Let's stretch into the best day ever with this special sequence designed to open your shoulders and upper back. Transition to an all fours position. Press back into child's pose. Knees wide, big toes touching, index fingers. Make a diamond shape so index fingers touch, elbows wide, and just rock the body side to side. Slowly you're breathing down, perhaps a big sigh out the mouth. On your next inhale, return to all fours. Ripple through up cat. So your cow pose broadening across the collarbones, sending the heart forward. Exhale, round cat. Take your tailbone almost all the way back to your heel. Beautiful, inhale, broaden across the chest, curl the toes under, and maybe even let the shoulders, just for today's focus, creep up by the ears, wag the seat from side to side, extra breath here, allow your exhalation to initiate looking at your navel, deeply round, cat back, making that high C curve, Sits bones almost touch the heels. Playing this vinyasa, spread the fingers. Cow pose. I also like to call it up cat. <laughs> Move from side to side. Instead of drawing the shoulders back for a moment now, let them scrunch up by the ears. Maybe even take some shoulder rolls. Your next exhale, round tailbone lengthens to the space between the knees and all the way down towards the heels. One more on your own. Widen the knees a little bit side to side, so the knees are almost as wide as your mat. And playing with that side to side motion, take the hips all the way over to the right side of the mat. Allow that shoulder shrug to happen again, so shoulders slide up by the ears. Take the hips all the way over to the left. And now round, so it's kind of like you're doing cat-cow, but left to right, allowing the shoulders to really move up by the ears and then shoulder blades spread apart as you look at the navel. You can find a micro bend in the elbows if that helps. Don't obsess about doing this right or wrong. It should just feel good. Take your left to right circles in the opposite direction. So moving now right to left. Perhaps close the eyes. Keeping this wide stance with the knees on your next in-breath, inhale, reach the right arm up to the sky. Make this a really big stretch. So imagine someone was pulling your right fingertips up, open the heart, and exhale, thread the needle. So we're doing thread the needle in a little bit of a different position than we normally do. The knees are wide. We're kind of in this cow pose. Press the left hand to the outer edge of your mat outside your face and propel yourself into the twist. Couple deep breaths. other side. Inhale, press yourself up. Knees stay wide. Yawn the left arm up. Shine the heart to the ceiling. Imagine someone pulling your left fingertips up and back, up and back. Huge shoulder stretch. Exhale, thread the needle. Right hand moves in front of the face to the floor on the right edge of your mat. And now push the right palm fiercely into the floor. 
find your twist. Slow your breathing down. Beautiful. Rise back to center. Bring the knees closer together. Sink back into a child's pose, this time with the knees touching. Continue to slow down the breath. Rock your weight forward. Curl the toes under, pressing back now into your down dog stance, bending to one leg and then the other, continuing to spread through the palms, thinking of your biceps shining forward, your triceps navigating back. Bend both knees deeply, so have both knees literally almost touch the mat. And now send your sits bones up and back, opening up to all that length available on the spine. It should feel like you're doing a handstand in the upper body. Two deep breaths here. Mm, straighten the legs. Rock forward to plank and exhale, lowering in one straight line, or you can take the knees down and a little half lowered push up into baby cobra. So fingertips directly under the shoulders, inhale, lift the heart, squeeze the elbows and the shoulder blades together, kneecaps lift, tip the chin back, the neck is long, three breaths here, Bhujangasana. Yearning to give the breath that audible quality, slight constriction in the back of the throat. The end of your last breath, lower the forehead to the mat, bend the knees, windshield wiper the legs from side to side, press back, child's pose for a moment with the toes curled under, and then shifting forward and back, hold downward facing dog. At the end of your next exhale, slowly walk the feet towards the top of the mat. Really take your time. Small steps are fine. See your feet hip width apart, toes pointing directly forward. Knees deeply bent and inhale, half lift. Slide the heart forward, squeeze the shoulder blades together. Exhale, bend the knees, melt forward. Hands slide down the backs of the calves. Once more, inhale, half lift. Find length, tailbone to crown of head, little back bend. Exhale, surrender. Maybe hands cup the heels, knees deeply bent. Inhale, this time circle the arms down, around and up. So coming up to stand, reaching towards the sky, gathering energy. Exhale, hands to prayer at heart center. Thumbs rest on the sternum. Micro bend the knees, lengthen the tail down, belly lifts in and up. Eyes closed, just connect with your breath. Inhale, circle the arms down, around and up, and interlace the hands. Reach. Soften behind the knees, and then coming into circles in a counterclockwise direction, as if you were the center of a clock. 
and make big circles with the torso. Ensure that the knees remain micro bent. This should feel really good on the side seam of the body. You can find it a little bit of a back bend, your choice. I like to keep it pretty mild. If you're coming into a back bend, remember tail down, belly lifts up and in. Big circles. And switch directions. Continue reaching through the arms, through the fist. Coaxing the body awake, open. Inhale, come to center, pause the breath, squeeze the pelvic floor, lift the chest, dip the chin, knuckles reach up, palms face out now and exhale, it's like you're clearing your energy as you let the palms come back along the thighs, beautiful, coming into aura painting. Backs of the knees soft. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhaling, fold. Bend the knees generously. Your in breath, reach up. Protect the low back. Micro bend the knees. Tail down, belly lifts. Exhale, fold. Synchronize. The rising, the reaching with the length of your in-breath. Synchronize bending the knees, the folding with the length of the out-breath. This can be fast or very slow. One more minute, invitation to slow this down. At the top of your next inhale, pause. Inhale, reach the arms up. Visualize energy spiraling up the spine. Hold, hold, hold. Exhale, palms face down. Come alongside the thighs. Deep breath in and out. Take the feet a little wider than hip distance. Just come into a couple hip circles just to release the low back. And the hip circles the other way. Good. And then feet parallel, micro bend the knees. Come into goal post arms with Gayan Mudra. Inhale left. Exhale right. (laughs) 
So the twist is happening in the upper body. The lower body is stable, hips pointing like headlights towards the front of the mat. Micro bend the knees. So back of the knees are soft, even here. Head is traveling with you as you turn left and then right. Notice the invigorating, enlivening quality of this move. Inhale left, exhale right through the nose. Stay with it. Smile if you can. We're playing and provoking polarity here in these twists. Recognizing the intention behind this asana is to help us find center, how good it's gonna feel when we stop and we align, harmonize with the central channel. Good, inhale to center. Pause, suspend the breath, lift the pelvic floor, the navel, the gaze, dip the chin, lift the chest, press the tongue to the roof of the mouth, hold, hold, hold. Exhale, release the mudra as you need to. Tadasana. Drop into pure present stillness. Invitation to bend the knees a little bit deeper for this one. So it's almost like Utkatasana. Keep the feet hip distance apart. No booty popping or arching in the low back. Keep lengthening the tailbone down. But we're in a fierce, fierce pose, which is the definition of Utkatasana in the legs and then wood chopper. So interlacing the fingers, inhale up, exhale down. So strong exhalation out the nose. You're chopping through all the fears, all the self-limiting beliefs, all the problems facing you today. <laughs> Just chop through all of it. All of the postures in this little set series are really working on cleansing, clearing, resetting the electromagnetic field around your body. Getting rid of all the stuff we tend to pick up. About 30 seconds to go. Stay with it. Chop. This is a great place to get rid of any lingering frustration. Last 10 seconds. Inhale, reach up. 
Knuckles high, siphon energy from the pelvic bowl, the root all the way up to the crown. Reach, knuckles up, hold, hold, hold. Turn the palms to face out once again, slow descent as you trace that. Arc line, aura, and energetic field. Mm. Tadasana. This set of moves really not just adjusting our inner frequency, but adjusting the energy around and outside our body. That aura send, said to extend in four feet in each direction. Allow yourself to shift into this new vibration. bring the hands to prayer, seal in this energy. Come to lie down on your back, soles of feet on the floor. Lift the hips up, shift them two inches to the right. And then let the knees fall left, or what I like to do is double wrap the legs. So right leg over left and both knees fall left, arms in a cactus shape. Hmm. Just allow the breath to elongate. Sense the body supported by the floor. Close the eyes. Often if I have a eye pillow like a bean bag or just a cloth or shirt. I like to cover my eyes here. Invitation to do that. You're just napping in a twist. Extend the right arm so it's reaching on the diagonal towards the upper right corner of your room. Really reach through the fingertips as if you could touch something far away from you in that upper right corner of the room and see if you notice a stretch in the underarm. This is a hot spot for the lymphatic system, your fascial system area of the pec, deltoid. It's okay if your hand doesn't touch the floor, your arms even a couple feet away from the floor. Just keep reaching. You can take the bicep alongside the face. So feel the bicep touch the cheek, reach straight overhead, and then reach back into the corner. Option to micro bend the elbow or bend the elbow a bit, especially if the arm is far away from the floor. Then the exhalations. And coming into this twist on the other side. So bring the knees back up to the ceiling, press the soles of the feet into the mat, lift the hips, shift them all the way over to the left, knees drop right or left, leg on top of right, mm, cactus arms. Mm, invite the
the breath to take on an audible quality. Again, if you can block out light, rolled t-shirt, blanket, or eye pillow over the face really amplifies the healing quality of a practice like this, a pose like this. Invitation to reach the left arm now on the diagonal. And play the same way we did on the first side. Really, really reach like you could touch something just out of your grasp. And then wiggle the fingers. Experiment with where the arm is reaching in space. Bicep alongside the ear and then back away. Reaching the hand to the corner. Option to bend the elbow. Or keep the arm straight. Allowing the left shoulder to traction in space. It's okay if the shoulder blade's off the mat. Slowly bring the knees back up, unfurl the legs, lift the hips, center yourself on the mat, and just take the knees in to touch for a moment, arms in a cactus shape. Let yourself just be. From my heart to yours, namaste, namaste.